Hello, I'm Matthew Carlson, Interim Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, and I'm so pleased to be here virtually to congratulate the graduating class of 2020. In a typical year, I would congratulate our PSU graduates for their hard work and perseverance in reaching their goal of earning a college degree. Like those who came before you, many of you are first-generation college students, parents, and have worked outside of school while pursuing your degree. You worked hard, and you sacrificed, and here you are to receive your diplomas, and that's a lot to be proud of. But this is no typical year. All of you overcame extraordinary barriers. Like no others before you, you demonstrated extreme flexibility, you maintained focus as the world changed around you, and you continued to show up even when it seemed impossible. And I have never been so proud of a group of students as I am of all of you right now. Your graduating class, the PSU class of 2020, will be defined by this moment. This is a historical moment that will forever change the course of the future. As you graduate, the country is in the grip of two epidemics. The coronavirus pandemic has forced the entire planet to hit the pause button. This virus has broken down well-established economic, cultural, and social institutions. It's going to change everything the way we live, the way we learn, and the way we work. Even as our community struggles with COVID-19, the epidemic of police violence against African Americans has again been brought to the forefront by the recent deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmed Arbery. At this moment, our city and our country are erupting in protest over the ways that systemic and overt racism continues to do harm every day to blacks in America. The clarion call of Black Lives Matter reverberates through our city streets, serving as testament to the resolve of the next generation to escalate the struggle for human rights and dignity. Today, with your diplomas in hand, we are sending you into a new world, one that will need to be rebuilt into a more just, sustainable, and inclusive one. I know you're up to the task. Class of 2020, you have learned new ways to create, to collaborate, to solve problems, and you will be known as the generation who can successfully adapt to rapid social change and accomplish your goals no matter the obstacle. As you go out into the world to make it anew, I want you to remember two things. First, you all share a common bond. You've gone through a lot together, and I want to remind you to stick together. Join the Alumni Association. Keep track of your classmates. They are your future colleagues. Remember to lend a hand to each other. There is no other class like your class. Second, remember Portland State University and the staff and faculty who helped you along the way. We have been here for you. We will continue to be here for you. Portland State is strong because of our community, and from this moment onward, you will forever be part of Portland State University. Reach back from time to time and support the next generation of students who will need your support. So to you, class of 2020, I say congratulations for your accomplishments. Thank you for all of your contributions over the years that you've been here. And I look forward to seeing you in person in the new world of your making. Our student speakers today will be Robert Lewis, who's receiving a bachelor's degree in chemistry, Sarah Rohr, who's receiving a bachelor's degree in Judaic studies, Lauren McKinney-Wise, receiving a bachelor's degree in geography, and Haley Okamoto, receiving a bachelor's degree in communication studies. Class of 2020, esteemed faculty, proud family members, 
and my neighbor across the street that can see me in a grad gown and pajama bottoms. Thank you for being here today. We're here to celebrate a monumental achievement in our lives and due to the circumstances in the world, we don't get to do it in person. There's a lot of ways to talk about the pandemic, but unfortunately marketing experts have kind of already taken all the best ones. I swear every ad I see is set to soft piano music and the words fly on screen of in these unprecedented times or in these unparalleled times. But there's a message in there that really rings true and that's people. As I sit in my Zoom classes, the one thing I can't help but think about is how much I miss my peers and my professors and everyone that's taught me so much. College is a time to challenge ourselves and to learn. And through our classes, we've managed a degree of mastery over concepts of history or language, chemistry or anthropology. But it's the people that we've worked with and met along the way who have really shaped what we've become. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if not for the professors that would meet with me during office hours to tackle these difficult concepts. Or my peers that would meet with me in the library for study sessions for hours on end and until we eventually retired a rogue or cheerful tortoise or what have you. But those are the moments that I cherish most and I hold in my heart and have really shaped who I've become. And as we head into the world, it's the unexpected that awaits us. While college is about meeting expectations with homework and tests and readings and all of that, life doesn't point you in the direction of the answer. We have to take what we've learned and apply it in new ways to novel problems. And the old adage of uh, necessity is the mother of invention has never been more true than it is now. We live in a world full of uncertainties, but we have the talent to meet that unexpected and adapt to an ever-shifting climate and thrive within it. I don't know what the future is going to hold for us, but I know we'll attack it head on, staring it straight in the eyes. We're going to take the tools that we've learned here and find ways to make it work for us. So I say to you, class of 2020, Let's show the world who we are. Let's show the world our compassion, our perseverance, our strength, and our adaptability. There's never been a graduating class with the potential to shape the world more than ours. We're going to find the way forward because that's what we've always done, is adapt. So let's continue forward, completely rock the world out there, showing them who we are surrounded by the people who care the most for us, or at least six feet apart. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020, on the completion of this rite of passage. I want to thank my supportive family and the playful, considerate, and present friends that are the heartbeat of my life. I want to thank the Judaic Studies Department for their deliberate curation of resources that emphasize and stimulate critical thinking. Your scholarship is a wonder to behold. As a Judaic studies major, the scholarly work examined antiquity, tradition, and modernity, and the clash that occurs between forces that want to evolve and forces that want to maintain the status quo and those who are complicit by virtue of non-participation. Sound familiar? My study centered around the Jewish people. We have continually faced the unknown with courage and dignity and the desire to learn and grow. We have also been the recipients of hatred and bigotry, and we have been the builders, allies, and collaborators of social justice movements that strike back against whatever emperor is reigning with impunity. Justice is coming, and she is wearing a face mask. Our world, which has been on bed rest, is uprising for equality for our African-American friends and neighbors and people of color the globe over. The time for racial equality has always been now. The time for racial equality is now. The uncertainty and dynamic that this place that we find ourselves in provokes is the terrain where cultural change becomes imaginable, becomes actionable, becomes doable. I will not be complicit to sit silently and not speak my peace. 
will you? I am calling on you, my collaborators, my colleagues, my inspired and inspiring friends, rise to the occasion of inhabiting your leadership at every moment, at every turn. Choose to lobby and fight in a nonpartisan manner for our future and the future of our country and the future of our world. Your voice, your vote, your choice to honor and uphold human dignity at every moment, is a, it's a day by day choice. It's a moment by moment choice. Choose, I choose to not abide by a white supremacist version or vision of America. I will not abide by a white supremacist version or vision of America. The strength of this country is its diversity. We are a rainbow nation. In that vein, I want to live in a country that honors and values the elderly, that celebrates and honors the diversity of learners, that treats children with care and concern. Speaking of, children cannot be pawns for any leader's opposition to immigration. Children's rights are human rights. Let's stop pretending otherwise. I need to live in a country that empowers people of color. I need to live in a country that empowers immigrants and refugees. I need to live in a country that empowers LGBTQ folks. I need to live in a country that empowers women. I need to live in a country that empowers us all. Let's make it happen. A society of intergenerational mentors. That is what I want. What is our dream? for our future? What is our dream for our world? Reb Zalman Schechter Shalomi of blessed memory was fond of saying, the only way to get it together is together. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Make us proud. Dr. Martin Luther King once poignantly said that everyone has the power for greatness, not for fame, but greatness, because greatness is determined by service. I didn't always have a great relationship with education. I almost didn't graduate high school and I continued to struggle in college. During that time, I sank into a depression and I was certain I wouldn't amount to anything, but that's not where my story ended. About a year or so into my college career, I met some extraordinary geography instructors, first at Portland Community College and then at Portland State, and they helped to change my perspective on what it means to succeed. They taught me that my worth comes from my choices, my willingness to try and to say yes to opportunities. They're why I'm here, graduating with my Bachelor's of Geography today. But what does saying yes mean? Saying yes means volunteering, engaging in extracurricular activities, and taking on challenging projects. As a student of PSU, I found no shortages of these occasions to learn, to explore, and to help serve my community. And perhaps most importantly, saying yes means accepting mistakes and missteps, not as failures, but as necessary parts of growth and learning. It is by continuing to try that we truly find success. And now more than ever, our local and global communities need us. And we as graduates of Portland State have so much to offer. We just need to recognize that we have the power to do so. No matter how many times we mess up or how small our attempts may seem, our hard work and sincere dedication really can change things for the better. And making things better means daring to dream of a society that is socially, environmentally, and economically just. A society that does not oppress or brutalize its citizens simply because of the color of their skin. A society that favors people and environment over short-term and short-sighted profit. This is our call to service. Class of 2020, 
In the spirit of PSU's motto, let knowledge serve the city, we should say yes to service and in that choice, become great. Thank you everyone, congratulations. Class of 2020, hello and aloha mai kako. My name is Haley Okamoto and it is an honor to virtually gather with you all today. After everything we've been through, we are finally able to celebrate the completion of our college degree. While this is a tremendous achievement, it's also important to acknowledge the journey that got us to where we are today. So I would like to share a little snippet of my story. I was born and raised on the small island of Kauai, Hawaii, and from a very young age, my parents instilled within me the value of education. On National College Decision Day in 2016, I had a choice to make. I could either play it safe and attend college in Hawaii, or I could take a risk move to Portland and begin college at PSU. In order to make this decision, I decided to flip a coin. Yes, you heard that right. I based the fate of my future all on a simple coin flip. I remember standing there in my room alone and thinking to myself, heads I'll go to PSU and tails I'll stay home. I'm sure you can all guess which side the coin landed on that day. Later that fall, I packed up my things and I came to realize that I had never stepped foot in Oregon, yet alone visited the PSU campus. So it was needless to say that I had no idea what I was setting myself up for. I was nervous to begin my time at PSU with over 26,000 other students. My situation was the epitome of a small fish in a big pond. At first, I really struggled. Native Hawaiians have one of the highest attrition rates, meaning that around 50% of Native Hawaiians who begin college leave without earning any credentials. I could have easily been a part of the statistic, but instead, year after year, I was slowly able to build my network of connections with my fellow communication majors, peers, coworkers, staff, and faculty members. Regardless of the obstacles that I faced as a first-generation college student and a woman of color, I am proud to say that I did not let a statistic define me. After all this time, I can easily say that I am no longer a small fish in a big pond. Rather, I've come to find that I'm a big fish in a small pond, which means that I, along with you all, are ready to move into the next chapter of our lives. As we embark on this journey, I encourage each and every one of you to embrace the uncertainty and be courageous enough to take a risk. A mentor of mine once told me that if I'm comfortable, it means that I'm not growing. We are now educated people who are fully equipped to make positive and long lasting change for our future. Continue to use your voices because change will not happen overnight. This is just the beginning. As one door closes and another one opens, class of 2020, I hope you all take the time to deeply reflect on your years at PSU. Whether it's been one or four or 10, all of the memories and experiences have been a monumental factor in shaping us. Our journey together may be ending in a way that none of us would have ever imagined, but due to our persistence and our strength, we were able to complete our degrees even in the midst of a global pandemic. Years from now, I'm sure this will make for a great story, but until then, I can't wait to see the phenomenal contributions our class will provide to the world. Portland State University Class of 2020. Congratulations, we did it. On behalf of the entire history department, congratulations to the class of 2020. We may not get to parade around together in funny looking robes and strange hats, but that doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. Best wishes for the future, go Vikes. Portland State University class of 2020. This is Maurice Hammington, professor of philosophy. I just want to say congratulations. You overcame a great deal this year and you should go forward and lead the exam in life. Congratulations, grads. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. And congratulations to all of your family and friends who've guided you in your endeavors.
Now more than ever, uncertainty is the norm and not the exception. Trust in your training in critical thinking and social justice. As you graduate, take with you your curiosity, your patience, and your sense of humor. You passed the ultimate test. You're graduating during a global pandemic. I know you'll go on to do great things. Go Vikings. You've done very well. It's too bad that uh, we weren't able to have commencement ceremonies this year, but uh, I think there's one thing you can be certain of. No one will ever forget the year you graduated. Good luck. We're proud of you. Susan Reese here. Poet Naomi Shihab Nye says, everything comes next. So get out there and make your best lives. Congratulations, class of 2020. Yatane, class of 2020, omedetou, congratulations. I want to say congratulations to you. I hope you're celebrating your achievements. You've worked hard and you deserve it. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of those you love. And stay curious about the world. And again, a big congratulations. Warmest congratulations and best wishes on your graduation. We are so proud of your hard work, perseverance, and community-mindedness. We look forward to watching you grow and flourish. Congratulations! Hi, this is Tom Hastings. Congratulations. All of us at Conflict Resolution wish you all success in your further educational and career goals. Congratulations, graduate of 2020. You should be so proud of what you've accomplished so far. I'm very proud of you. And now you get to go out and be the best version of yourself you can be. Woo! Congratulations to all of the future speech language pathologists and audiologists from Portland State University. We're so proud of all that you've accomplished. Congratulations to the philosophy majors uh, graduating in Portland State's class of 2020. I know that the skills you've acquired in the department will serve you well as you move on to the next stage of your career in these unique times. We look forward to hearing of all of your accomplishments in the years to come. Congratulations to all the Russian majors, minors, and flagship students completing their Certificates of Advanced Proficiency in Russian. Поздравляю вас всех и желаю удачи в следующем этапе вашей жизни. Ура! A nuestros estudiantes de español que ahora se reciben, enhorabuena! Han trabajado muchísimo y estamos muy orgullosos de ustedes. Was ist Aufklärung? Sie sind aufgeklärter als zuvor, aber es hört nie auf. Sapere aude, dare to know, and let knowledge serve the city. Jetzt sind Sie dran. Studierende aller Länder, vereinigt euch und betreten Sie, feuertrunken, himmlische, das Heiligtum der Freude. Ich gratuliere Ihnen von Herzen.